The countdown's on to one of the biggest sporting events in the world, and it's got a local twist. The Rio Paralympics are 90 days away, and New Zealand's team is looking strong, with some local faces making the squad. Athlete William Steadman is heading to the Games and joins Andrew McFarlane in the studio now. Andrew. Thanks, Jordan. Well, it's awesome to have you here with us. So uh, just before we start, tell me a little bit about cerebral palsy and kind of what it does to the body. Um, it's a brain impairment I got at birth, and it basically means my left side is uh, weaker and I have less motor control over it. Which, okay. yeah. So then looking at the Rio Paralympic Games, which is coming up really soon, what events are you actually entered in for those games? Uh, I'm entered in the 400 metres, 800 metres and long jump. So quite a few things there. Yeah, quite a busy programme. Yeah? yeah, been a lot of training? Yeah, I train about seven times a week. Uh, I've got five track sessions and two gym sessions. Um, and sometimes I've got to train twice a day as well. So how many hours would you say is in one of those training sessions? Usually about an hour and a half, but sometimes you can go up to two hours. So definitely a lot of dedication there. Yeah, it quite, gets quite tiring sometimes. And obviously you can't just go straight to Rio, you know, there's steps involved. So how did you get to where you are now? Uh, a few years ago I went to a, a para-athletics talent ID camp in Dunedin. And from, from there I got internationally classified last year, which um, was quite a big step because it changed my classification um, from what from T38 to T36, which means it was quite a bit easier for me to get the qualifying times for World Champs, which I went to in Doha last year. And this, and since then I've been getting qualifying, qualifying times for Rio. Cool. And is there a big para-athlete scene here in New Zealand? Like you talked about that event in Dunedin, were there many people there? Um, yeah, there's quite a few there. The team is, at the moment is about is six. Uh, most of them are based in Dunedin. There's one from Auckland and myself. But there's also another selection opportunity later, so the team may grow. Okay, so you've yep. got six at the moment. Six at the moment. And yep. what number could that grow to in the next few days? Um, weeks or so? Maybe, I think, go up to eight, possibly possible eight. So, yeah. So, definitely potential for that to grow. Yeah. And you were saying earlier that you're the only Christchurch face on that team so far. On the athletics team, I'm the only person from Christchurch, yeah. So, a lot, of, a lot of, you know, potential and a lot of kind of nervousness about that one? Yeah, definitely. But I know the other team, uh, the rest of the team, pretty well from. Um, going to World Champs last year, so it's, it's a good vibe, yeah. And just finally, this year the Paralympic Games are actually being televised, so do you think that's a step in the right direction for oh, the coverage? Definitely. Recently, especially in New Zealand, there hasn't been a lot of um, media or um, any um, hype about the Paralympic Games, but that's definitely getting better in the step and going in, step right, in the right direction. Well, we wish you all the best of luck here from the team at Metro, and uh, we think we're going to see some great stuff come from your direction. Thank Back you. to you, Jordan and Logan. Thanks, Andrew. Still to come on Metro News, gorillas go ape over their award-winning enclosure and the dance awards draw in troops from around the country.